Okay, in this video, we're just going to look at how you can create anchor links or scroll to content in Webflow. So essentially, that's when you've got, say, like a piece of um, a piece of text that's linked or a button and you click on it and then it kind of sends you down the page to another piece of content or when the page loads and then it automatically sends you sort of partway down the page to something like a button or a form or a piece of text. So what we'll do is we'll quickly just run through and I'll kind of explain, you know, how it works and how you can set it up. And essentially the, the way it works is um, what we'll do, we'll, we'll set this up so this can be a piece of content that we can scroll to. And it essentially will work for anything that has a kind of um, a container or a selector. So it can be, um, you know, like a span or a paragraph or a button or an image. And what we do is um, we'll click on this one and I'll just kind of show you how you can do it. So what you need to scroll to something is essentially it will need an ID. And the idea of an ID is that it's completely unique. So only one thing has that specific ID on the page. So when you tell it you want to scroll to it, it knows that there's only that one thing that has that ID and it can scroll to it. Whereas if it's a class, there could be multiple ones on the page and then it doesn't know where to go. So we need the concept of an element that has an ID. So the first thing we do, we can click on this button, for example, and then normally you'd have the style menu open and it would have the classes here. And as I say, we can't do it off the back of a class. So what we need to do is go into settings and under ID, we can just call this, uh, say, contact button or something along those lines. Um, and what you can do in this, you, you won't be able to have spaces, um, you can't start with a number, uh, you can use sort of hyphens and underscores and essentially just try and, you know, keep everything kind of lowercase. Like I say here, I've just called it contact hyphen BTN. And then what we can do is we can come back up to here and then I've just added this little bit of text just on the end that just says get in contact. And what we can do is just highlight that. We'll turn that into a link. And again, this works for link boxes and, and everything else. It's just the concept of creating a link. And then rather than having it as an actual link, we can click on this little anchor here. And then we've got link type. And then you can see here, we've got the external link, which we already had, a page, a section, and then email and phone number. So what we want is section. And now we've created this ID at the bottom you can see here it's actually added it to this list of sections before that there wouldn't have been any sections to link to because there weren't any ids at least on my page you know on your page might have lots of ids on it and then what we can do is do that we'll tick it and then you can't actually test this in the um in the preview you know if you click on it, it it's not actually going to do anything so what we'll do is we'll open it up in there but I'll just show you by kind of, you know, you just click on it and nothing's going to happen. So you will need to kind of publish it. But you can see when we click on this now, it scrolls down. And if there was more content below this, this would actually be near the top of the page. So really, it's actually kind of scrolled to here. But you kind of get the idea. It sent you down to this section. We, we could kind of change it to uh, if I added. Uh, there should be an outer to that. There we go. So if I click on that. And then I do that and publish it again. And what you'll find now when we click on it, there we go, it sends that right to the top. So that, that's how it works by default. So usually if you're going to send it down to a paragraph or something, you could have a bit of padding at the top, send it down to that container and that would send people to more or less the right kind of place. So just factor that in. You might want to do it on an outer container rather than on the exact thing, because obviously that's not really perfect, like having it so the button right at the top. But it's just, um, you know, that's something you can work on and you can kind of change. And then the next thing to think about is that if we want to do this, for example, uh, we've got the concept of obviously different pages. So if we wanted to kind of do this um, from the home page, for example, what we'd need to do is under pages on the side, we'd need to know on the about page, um, if we go out to that, if you come to the cog, 
you can kind of this gives you all the information about the page so we know that the page is forward slash about so if we go to the home page now we know what page it is we need to link to we could say get quote or you know like I say any link we can click on this and now if we try to go to a page section like we did before that's not going to work because this is actually on a different page so what we'll need to do is do a custom URL in here and what we can actually do is do forward slash about and then at the end of this you can do a hash so that's alt and three um, and then we called it contact button and the kind of hash is how we declare uh, an ID so basically it's the ID name with a, a hash in front of it and then we should be able to click out of that just click back in and check it's there yeah it's happy with that so if we publish that I'll just take a second to publish we'll just close it and then if we go to the home page which I haven't set a button for okay let's just go to the home page and if we click on this it goes to forward slash about and then the uh, to the contact button so you can see it scrolled us down to the page when we've clicked on it so you can link to another page to that section as well so that kind of gives you the option of doing both things you know you can link from uh, within a page which does that kind of um, that scrolling effect or you can do it to another page and it will scroll you straight down into that correct place and you can keep doing this for different things so you know you could just say um, for I think that's our lowest image for this you could just kind of come in and give this an ID of um, if we just call it like blog image or something like that and then we could change this one and we'll go in and we'll just add a link to that and remember we just come in and click on that one go to section and now you can see we've got blog image in there as well just click OK and then as I say you've just got to run the the kind of publish of the site to get it to work and then you can see if we click on return it takes us to blog image um, and if you need any um, uh, for links and things if you kind of want to style them slightly different for these types of things I've done a video about that so I'll link to that up in the corner um, but yeah that that more or less is the the kind of concept of um, how those work like I say just use what uh, one ID per page you can use the same ID on different pages but just make sure it's only once on a page and um, that that should that should work for you really so yeah if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more webflow tutorials check out the playlist on this channel and please subscribe